can see young Lucas here. Where is Lucas? Oh, where is Lucas? Oh, focus. Focus. oh that's all Lucas there. Got it now. Lucas is having his dinner. And our little guy actually swallows his food whole. Got it? There's a shadow over him. So I don't want to be taking the chair away. Because it gets a bit of light on it, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll try and get this done here with young Lucas. You now frightening him because he always gets upset by any odd movements that happen but it is now getting more used to my being around him but you see he just moved away from the food but he obviously finds it interesting and that's my little friend there now he has become so accustomed to me that he comes it's rather difficult to identify him can you see him anyway he has become so accustomed to me that now he actually comes and nudges my toe and he says hey Andrea I want my food that's him tonight his dinner is fish and I to move my chair to give him some shadow it's almost identified you can understand it's almost difficult to identify but he's got some nice little orange specks on the top of his head and I'm not going to revolve this stupid camera around at least if I get one thing right side up it will be really good got it so now Luke C is proving to be the carnivorous type of tortoise and for a moment there I thought that she would just go out and bite my toes off but anyway I had to keep Blackie out she steps all over her food which means that I'll have fish food on my flow you can see they are quite disgusting actually when you watch the tortoises eating but they are reptiles so they swallow but you can notice that he has grown about let's say an inch from when he was last year from back to front and he only comes in when he wants some food then he meanders outside again when the diet in the garden is a bit boring right Lucas I agree with you totally he says but he's getting more used to me now but I still don't expect him to sort of I don't expect him to sort of let's say uh, trust me come here come here Lucas come here have you finished he's walking off dinner's finished and he runs you can see he runs very fast underneath the cover <coughs> because he thought I was getting too close for comfort. Anyway, that's only a little addition and you can see my paperwork here. I've been working on a file and my court work presenting a case on the 30th will be all on my own. With God on my side as usual, doing things on my own, unilateral thinking. I had a brilliant lawyer and the chap very obligingly has to stand me I'm putting this underneath the cupboard for him, Locus, in case he decides to change his mind. Anyway, um, I was trying to get this song working, and now we get there, but at the moment I'm too busy doing, um, too busy doing my court case. A cigarette in my mouth papers falling all over the flow. Anyway, it's quite nice, I think. My videos need to be sort of a bit better. Now, I mean, the problem is that uh, I happen to be wearing my favorite pink topped blouse. The one that I love. It sort of reminds me of a very special person. Now, let me take off all those things in front of my... I forgot to mention that these stained glass windows were actually created by me. And I happen to like colour in my house. Stained glass windows. That's me, as usual. 
Carol, Carol in a in a tizzy, getting older by the minute. Bags underneath the eyes, not slept for two days. And this is Angelique's picture garden. Oh, picture frame. It should be better. Have you not put the light on in here? I'll show you what it's like to have the today. So I can only get this stupid door, door open now. Right, it's open this time. <laughs> nice. Now, I'll show you what I mean about a nice little light, evening light, but don't get electrocuted. And maybe the bulb has gone. No, it's been knocked off. Ah, voila. See what I mean? There's something so beautiful about light in the garden in the evenings. I've got a smell of jasmine here, a couple of white plants. Two varieties of uh, jasmine. One is the night bloomer and there's the day bloomer. The local one called Gadapana. But anyway, the Gadapana plant, uh, plant has also got some nice fragrance. You can't see it. I haven't put the garden lights on. I should really. To show you what it's like. And everything's quiet today because all the people have gone out. You see, that's Ranjan's entrance to its flat. And my fish pond is in darkness. I wonder why I do that. There's something very romantic about there's something very romantic about the less light one has the better. Agreed? Okay, that's what I call gorgeous. And that's my little garden lamps there. And I told you if I could oh if I, I could only get my little table lights working here. Let give me a minute. But I've got an extension cord here and Got two plugs on it. Mm, I wonder if I can make it work. Anyway, no plug points out here. I think I might have to develop some plug points somehow to see, make you wonder what it looks like to have maybe just evening lights in a garden, sitting down with one one's loved ones uh, without the yeah. Maybe give me a second. I'm gonna knock this off. No, if I knock this off, then you're not going to see anything. I wonder whether I can give you anything entertainment, anything entertaining to watch while I get the lights working. I should think about that, you know. Otherwise, I might lose out on old Lucas. Oh, he's back at work. And Lucas is back eating his fish. Then it's the cupboard. Then, oh yes, let's, I can't, I mean, I always give a picture of this curtain of mine. I'm going to have to do something about improving my videos, but I've got a jazzy version of, I've got a jazzy version of a song called, I'm repeating myself too often these days, is that a sign of old age? I don't think so. It's called Verbatim Impromptu. Now, oh, blast. I always can't find it when I need it. Got it? And here was I so happy that I didn't put young Tehan's song or Tehan's song on uh, the YouTube because we made mistakes right throughout it. So, we have to stop that. Anyway. Just something for you to hear and see. Mm. I must tell you, never fall in love with anybody because even though it might inspire you, you have love for the person, it really drives you nuts because you like you a total mess. Never love anybody. Got it? Never. <coughs> But it certainly does inspire you, like, pull the chair, this is how it goes. <laughs> 